It's been promised for almost six months by Texas lawmakers, a cut in property taxes amid a historic state budget surplus halfway through a special session called by Governor Greg Abbott. Homeowners say they expect the cuts to come soon. Our Garrett Hoddle has more. We're about halfway through the current 30-day special session called by Governor Abbott on May 29th. But with the House adjourned, a Senate still in session, a disagreement over property taxes is leaving Texans in the middle. Yes, I'm a teacher out in Greenwood. Emily Putnam is a mother of two and teacher in Greenwood. Taxes have gone throughout the years. But maybe when you're caught between two bills that cut property taxes, the middle isn't a bad place to be. Both of these bills are good and they're going to be good for the citizens of Texas. On one side of that bill, championed by Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick and passed by the Senate, includes a bump to the homestead exemption to 100 k We want to encourage people to be homeowners. You know, that's the part of the American dream. Meanwhile, the House quickly passed Governor Abbott's preferred property cut tax plan and then gaveled out of session, sparking a public feud between top Texas lawmakers. You know, I'll be honest, they need to get their butts back in Austin and go to work. In Midland, Patrick continues taking his pitch on property tax cuts to the public. Because right now, there's no one there to send a bill to. In recent days, Governor Abbott has said he'll sign a bill that makes it to his desk, agreed upon by the House and Senate. And we're not taking their bill, let me be very clear. But for now, they seem to be pulling farther apart. We are not going to pass a property tax cut bill of $17.6 billion without homestead exemption. We're just not going to do it. At the end of the day, a tax cut is a tax cut. This is for the taxpayers of Texas, and so I hope we can get past whatever bickering that you know, it's just personalities. But in finding a middle ground between chambers, it's been my way Thank or the man. highway. Leaving West Texans wondering not only what could a property tax cut look like, but when. Yes, sir. Time is of the essence. I would say the quicker, the better. And the Republican infighting is heating up. Governor Greg Abbott now vetoing Senate bills, saying he refuses to sign any more Senate bills until the House and Senate send him a property tax cut bill. But Lieutenant Governor Patrick doesn't seem to be budging either. Even taken to Twitter about Abbott's plan to veto Senate bills, Patrick says he will not abandon the more than 5 million Texans demanding a 100,000 homesteaders exemption.